Michael Saussier with uh, Transparent Corporation here. I'm, I'm here with uh, Andrew Gasparini, student extraordinaire at UCSB. And uh, what we're trying to accomplish this summer is to create an overall software architecture and integration of the laboratory experiments here in the Robert G. Rinker Laboratory. This is the undergraduate laboratory that has been a key part of our curriculum since the early days of the department. And then four or five years ago, we decided that we needed to modernize it. And a big part of this, and the funding, came from the alumni. They volunteered to set up a fund for the laboratory and to name it after the beloved first faculty member, Professor Robert G. Rinker. So this is our process control experiment. We have two identical experiments, so all of the students who come to this lab get to take the um, do the process control experiment. Uh, this is the old Delta V system, uh, which uh, controlled all the data collection and um, actually the process control for the entire experiment, and it is run off the computer. Um, so we just up got a new upgraded version of our Delta V uh, system. So which has allowed for a lot more space so we can uh, start connecting other experiments to the Delta V system and collecting more data and having it uh, all logged. Part of the uh, struggle with this particular lab is that until now we haven't had the infrastructure to make all the data from the experiments available to students. So our first step was to re-instrument the I.O. that we could get donated from Emerson, put in a brand new Delta V system, layer on top a donated Pi system from OSI Soft, thanks to Pat Kennedy, and then layer on top of that the, the Transparent Visual KPI software. Now, what this architecture will allow the students to do is to run their experiments and to monitor their experiments from anywhere on any device, including their phone in their pocket while they're sitting in another class, maybe taking a look at what's happening in the distillation column. So, uh, the professors can use this for coming in and monitoring the experiments as well. I think Andrew's been able to organize the data by lab group and how, how the classes are going to be run so that the, uh, the folks in the department can monitor and take a look at the experiments in real time from anywhere. One of the big advantages of students is that they need to work together, usually uh, two three students in a group in a lab report. Sometimes it's very hard to schedule this, to pass data back and forth or the analysis results. So this will enhance communication tremendously. It also will allow the faculty instructor and the teaching assistants to look at the data as it comes in. If the students have questions about how they should do the analysis or write up the report, then the teaching assistant and the uh, professor can look at the same data. So that's going to be very helpful when you're troubleshooting or answering questions. And we really appreciate the Transparent software that will facilitate that. And also it exposes students to the kinds of modern communications that they're going to see in industry. So the internet, the uh, internet sharing of information from remote locations, this is going to be very good. And I think we're going to be one of the first chemical engineering departments to have this kind of capability. So the goal over the next several years will be to, each summer, retrofit one, two, three experiments with new hardware, new measurements, uh, bring all those measurements into the high system for permanent data archive, and then let all those experiments be broadcast over the internet securely to students, to professors, and to whoever wants to monitor and use the data from those experiments.